Today, I'm going to show you how to create a lesson plan template in a Google form that will automatically send your lesson plan to a Google Doc that's ready to turn in. Super fun hack. Let's go. So from your Google Drive, go to New and open up a Google form. I already made a template for us, so let's look at it. As I go through it, feel free to pause as you need to to fill out your form as well. So I put my title as lesson plan template. Then I added the date, the class name, the topic, the objectives, the standards with check boxes so that I could select more than one, the activities, the materials, and then the assessment type, also with check boxes so I could select more than one. You can add whatever you want to your lesson plan. Go ahead and do that on your Google Forms. Great. If you need to pause and rewind, go ahead and do that. Next, we want to go to preview. Next, we want to go to the eyeball up in the corner and click preview. This is going to show us what our lesson plan template is going to look like. Once it's pulled up, enter some dummy information in, whatever you want, just so that we have some data to work with in our spreadsheet. Go ahead and do that, and then hit play. Now that you've submitted your data, let's go to the responses tab. With your responses, click the green icon that says View Responses in Sheets. Once you click it, your lesson plan template responses will open up in a Google Sheet. Leave it there on your, on your screen. Go back to Google Drive, click New, and open up a new doc. We need to create a data document for our information to load into. I've already created that. Go ahead and pause and make sure yours matches mine. If you have different tags than I do, just tag it with the name that you put on the form. Go ahead and pause. I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Then hit play when you're ready to see the next step. Welcome back. Now let's go back to our lesson plan template and sheets. Here's where the tricky part comes in. We need an add-on for this, but don't worry, it's free and it's totally trustworthy. Click on add-ons, click get add-ons, then you're looking for Autocrat. It looks like this. Go ahead and install that, follow the instructions to install it, and then meet me back here. Now that you have Autocrat installed, go ahead and open it up. Once it opens, we're gonna click New Job. We're gonna give our job a name. So I'm gonna say Lesson Plan Monday 920. Click Next. And we're, now we're going to go into our drive and select the Google Doc that we just created with all those cool tags. Click on Lesson Plan. Click Select. Then click Next. This is really easy. It looks complicated, but don't let it scare you. These are those tags that we put in our lesson plan on the document. Now you just need to match it to the column. So you're going to click and you're going to match it to the column that it goes with. Go ahead and do that, and then click Next. Once you've gone all the way down and matched all of them to each other, click Next. Give the file a name. So I'm going to call it Lesson Plan Monday 921. 20, sorry. And we're going to make it as a Google Doc. Click Next. You can choose a folder to load it in, or you can just let it go to your drive. Next, you can add a dynamic folder reference. What is that? That's super easy. It just lets you search for your lesson plan based on different things. So I'm going to add two, date and class. Click next. I'm not going to merge anything additional. I don't want to share my doc, but you could put in your email if you have to share it with a principal or a supervisor. Click save when you're done. Once this comes up, you can go back to your Google Drive you should see the title that you created in Autocrat pop up in your suggested documents. Click on it and open it. And look at that. All the data we put in our Google form has now filled in to our document. So your lesson plans are ready to submit. Ta-da! See you next time. Bye!